Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So I'm going to go outside and um, show you the chicken coop because we have some new baby chicks out there. Uh, but first I wanted to show you this beautiful card from my subscriber. Uh, she loves sunflowers and so do I. So she sent me this gorgeous card with a sunflower on it. It is so pretty. So thank you, Linda, for that card. And then my subscriber, Deborah, she lives um, out in California, and she sends me coupons all the time, y'all. Uh, yeah, she lives in San Francisco. But this time, she sent me two envelopes full of coupons. Um, she printed out all these recipes for me. Look, sparkling candy corn cookies. Ooh, they sound so good. Look at the picture of them. I can't wait to try these. And a hummingbird cake using Pillsbury White Premium Cake Mix. Pineapple pudding cake. Thank you so much, Deborah. Oh, look at this. Buttercream Frosted Lemon Blueberry Layer Cake. This looks so good and so easy. I mean, you use the box cake mix and just add to it to to bring it up a notch or two. And then the buttercream frosting. Okay, thank you so much. And I will definitely be using these coupons. I, I do use all of these products. Hillshire Farm Sausage. And these come from the manufacturer, so they have a very long um, use date before they expire. And I'm going to be needing some tea soon, so I just want you to know how much I really do appreciate these coupons. And then um, Thanksgiving Bon Appetit book. Doesn't that look delicious? So let's go outside, and I want to show you the new chicks. So it's Thursday afternoon. Um, this is my third walk today. Earlier when I was walking, I saw some baby chicks in the coop. I didn't know that we had baby chicks. I mean, they're not even babies anymore. They look more like junior size, I guess. They've grown a little bit, but surely we've had to have... These chickens must have uh, been sitting on some eggs and, and hatched these baby chicks. But look, they're big already. Anyway, I wanted to bring the, I didn't have my phone with me this morning, so I couldn't record them, but look, they're already big. Okay, y'all that have chickens out there have to tell me how old you think these are. They had to have hatched a while ago. Why didn't I know about this, the baby chicks before now? I know it's hard to see through that chicken wire. You want to get in there to your baby? You want to get in there to your baby? Okay, so this is what I've decided to do. Is uh, it, you know, it's too late to plant a, a spring or, or summer garden. I doubt I could even find any plants anyway in the garden centers, and it's definitely too late to sow them in the ground, sow the seeds in the ground. So what I've decided to do is plant a fall garden. And I'm excited about that because um, I've never planted a fall garden before. I don't even know if I can find any seeds because I know that when the growing season is over, the seed companies, um, they collect all the seed, the unsold seed packets. They probably issue a refund to the stores that uh, don't sell those seeds. I know a couple of summers ago I went into Home Depot trying to find some okra seeds for Jill and they told me well the vendor had already collected all of the okra seed, all of the seeds because the season was over. So I haven't even been to the stores to look for them. So y'all aren't going to be, be able to see me uh, plant my garden for a while because it's too early to plant a fall garden. I may even try to throw in some pumpkin seeds. Maybe I can grow me a couple of pumpkins out here. So I'm excited. Like I said, um, we never had a fall garden either when I was growing up. I don't remember Daddy ever planting any pumpkins. Now, he did plant 
watermelons and honeydew melons. In fact, I had to help him gather the watermelons and we would put them in the back of his old Chevy truck and just pile them up as high as we could get them and then uh, drive down to New Orleans to the farmer's market there on Decatur Street right right along the Mississippi River there and uh, rent a booth and I, it was it was like a booth that you could just back your or you know pull your truck in and have the tail end sticking out and people would come by and and buy a watermelon so I, I do remember that we had plenty of watermelons but those were a summer crop and then we had the cucumbers that daddy planted and I had to pick those things and we would put fill up the back of his truck with the cucumbers and take them to Wiggins Mississippi they had a pickle factory there Oh, I would spend so many hours out there just burning up in that sun, bent over, picking those cucumbers and helping Daddy load them in the truck. But I'd go with him to the pickle factory, and my reward was a chocolate malt. We didn't call them milkshakes back then. They put the, the malt flavoring in them. I think it was called the wasn't called Dairy Queen. You know, Dairy Queen wasn't a chain back in the 1960s. Seems to me like it was called Dairy Swirl. And it had the picture of the, the swirly cone on the top of it. And Daddy would get, I'd always get me a chocolate malt. I probably put on a pound or two and Mama never could stand for anybody or any of us to be getting fat. And she would say, oh, you getting fat, you getting fat. <laughs> well, how could I be getting fat from one malt, one chocolate malt a week and hours and hours in the cucumber patch? <laughs> oh, Lordy. These look like peas. Oh, peas are a fall crop, too, so I can plant those. So, um, y'all just be patient with me. I know you're anxious to see me get out here and dig in the dirt. And, um... I'm going to bring the tripod out here and y'all can watch me plant it. I borrowed Jill's hoe and a couple other garden tools and a, a little bit of fertilizer. So, um, like I said, I have to get my seeds started inside and then I will get out here and um, plant a fall garden and I will let y'all watch me. Not a whole lot. Really, the day that I came out for the party was the first time that I've gotten out because I've been nursing this asthmatic bronchitis for two months and um you know I, I just can't I just can't seem to get ahead so I'll you know whenever I'm physically able you know I get I walk every day sometimes twice a day it just depends on how how far I can get before I get winded but I do walk every day, so I was getting pretty strong. Um, one of my subscribers sent me this uh, magnesium powder that you mix with water and drink it every day, and that was helping my muscles. And the fibromyalgia was getting better, and so I was walking every day and building up strength and energy, but then, you know, you can't walk with asthmatic bronchitis because you can't breathe um, in and out of bed, and on and off the nebulizer and so now I'm back to square one just trying to um you know build up some strength and some strength in my muscles that have atrophied oh, there's an egg it does look like it has some blue on it I wonder why the chicken laid the egg out here <laughs> I guess it needed to lay an egg and it couldn't get inside so it had to lay it out here that's so cute. <laughs> Having to keep the little, the little ones from the, the old ones, the boss, the big bosses, I guess. <laughs> so thank you for being here with me today. I hope y'all have a great weekend. If I don't um, put up a video tomorrow, let me go ahead and wish you a nice weekend. 
it is just absolutely gorgeous weather here. It's in the 70s and you can see the sky is clear as a veil. Look at it, y'all. Not one single cloud anywhere. Oh. So thank you and I'll just know that I love you and please don't forget to thumbs up my video and share my channel with your friends and family and co-workers and neighbors and y'all just keep on coming back. Goodbye guys.